Um, talk a little bit about your deck or your patio. Ever been at somebody's house where their deck or patio just looks amazing? It's like, how did they do that? Well, instead of one planter, think about multiple planters or pots. Jan from Mayflower Greenhouse has some great ideas. Hey there, we're outside with Jan from Mayflower Greenhouse, and he's got a real showstopper for us today. Um, good to see you, Jan. My pleasure, Amy, as always. So besides just wonderful plants, um, they also have at Mayflower some of the most unique and wonderful containers. And tell me about these. There are three, which I know the decorators are always into three, you know? Uh, you, as, a, as, a, as a plant thinks, you use either one or three or five. Always add number, add number of the pots or plants. Some, for some reason, looks a lot, lot better than, than pears. Well, it keeps your so eyes we, going, yes, you know? Exactly. So we came up with, the, with the, those three pots. They also come in a, uh, like rectangular shape, but it's a wonderful clay. It, uh, and uh, three different sizes, it, which is nice. Yes, and you can do really wonders with them. And let's start again uh, with the tallest part of the of the of the planting goes on the back unless you will be seeing the the paths from all directions so then would be in the center okay so this is our uh there's always there's three threes when it comes to planting pots here so this is our thriller right thriller, this yes. is you know going to get everybody's attention and we still add some more thrill to it okay with texture and color and do something exactly. different. exactly oh what's this this is Colias, and uh, look how nicely pick up, uh, picks up the, the color of this Drosina and this, this uh, the yellow daisy. Beautiful. Uh, and then we'll go, we'll so slowly start working on the fillers. Okay. So this is the part the, of In the, the, kind of the middle of the planter? If you have a, something like that, you feel free just basically break the, the roots. And the plants, you won't hurt the plants. Okay. Uh, they'll grow. They'll grow a lot better. I always get nervous when I do that. No, but no? don't worry. Okay. Don't okay. worry. And now we still work on the more uh, fillers. Okay. This is wonderful geranium charity. Which again, you can't go wrong with geraniums. They're one of my uh, favorites. Yes, that's that's They're very hardy true. and Mrs. Peters variety. So we've got there two go. different geraniums here. That's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. And we can add one more. Because it's a big pot, okay. Indian dunes, okay. or we could add um, oxalis, shamrock, that also performs really very, very nicely uh, right here. And we basically done with the fillers. Okay. Now, well, well maybe one more. Okay. Always, uh, grass is always appreciated in just about every pot because... I love the texture yes, of it. Yes, adds, adds different dimension to yeah. the... And again, uh, chop the, the roots a little bit. There you go. And, and we now, need some spillers, huh? Now we're finishing it off with the spillers. And that's the plant that just kind of droops over the edge. Yes. Looks so pretty. And by the way, uh, this plant, it's a Vinca illumination. Uh, strangely enough, it's very perennial. So at the end of the season, you can basically take it and plant it into the ground. Oh, that's nice. And you'll be good to go, and you'll have it for next few few years with you. So now are we going to match this next middle-sized container up or do something a little differently? We will match this one. Okay. Uh, and uh, we'll show a little bit later that different colors of the plantings will look very good in this container, in this clay as well. Okay. Now, this again, this is our thriller. Okay. And this is our thr thriller as well. Okay. The only thing with this is you have to basically keep um, deadheading it. If, if the plants get too big, uh, you can chop them down or done blooming, uh, remove the, the over bloomed leaves what and are flowers. What Because they're so pretty. This is African daisy or okay. okay. Quite, quite interesting plant. But if you notice, um, even if we're not using the same plants, we're using the same color scheme. So exactly. when you're lining all three up in a row, um, you kind of want to keep that going, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And of course, we need to have a grass, absolutely. There is no other way sure. to have a sure. container without without grass. And this is a different grass that we'll yes. then uh -huh. the other one. This is Wind Dancer character. Oh, wind, wind Dancer, dancer. Very, what a neat name. Very neat name, yes. And uh, our spiller will be um, Creeping Jenny in a gold, gold variety. So it will show on this gray, grayish clay really, really very very nicely that's gorgeous so we've got one more planter and if you were, i were doing this at my house i'd probably carry the theme on out but we're going to do a different color just to show you um, a different color a theme that you could use instead of the the reds and the oranges 
uh, and you will see how nicely uh, this color uh, works with the, with this with this clay. Uh, right there, look look how how beautiful the contrast is. We'll start with the gora, okay. uh, butterflies, and uh, it's really very nice, airy, soft plant. That's our thriller. Yes, and uh, we start right away. It's a smaller pot, so so you don't need uh, too many thrillers. Okay. Right away, we'll start on the fillers. Okay. This is uh, euphorbia, uh, diamond uh, frost, uh, almost impossible to kill. It will bloom even if in December. Oh, really? The, yes. That's my kind of plant. Absolutely. And it, it, it performs really very nicely. You see those tons of those small, tiny flowers. And uh, as I said, um, very forgiving. This is gorgeous, the purple. And on the top of it has a beautiful, beautiful smell. Oh, it does. We could add this as well. The pink? The pink, yes. And uh, of course, if, it's, if uh, roots are too much roots, just simply basically... Uh, cut them off and uh, right now we could correspond with this this is lobularia a newest like uh, ca distant cousins of the of the um, uh, alisum okay. only, only which better. is one of my favorites only better blooms blooms even Love in, that sweet in, uh, in uh, end of end of july uh, beginning of august in a full swing really nice look at how beautiful it smells wow so and whatever your color theme here, but keep it going, you know. Keep it going, um, yes. So if you're either going to mm -hmm. go with the, the, the pinks and the purples, do all three in pink and purple. If you're going to do, you know, the oranges and the yellows, do all three. But yes. just wanted to give you mm -hmm. a different idea of how they look in those pots. And this is one more spiller, which is a trailing geranium, and we're good to go. Oh, thanks, John. Thank you. Absolutely My pleasure. Absolutely beautiful. I love the idea of, you know, don't just plant one container, plant three. Yes, and then you can you can place them entirely differently. I mean, look at this, for instance. This setting looks better. Gorgeous. It, beside the mess we made. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. When you plant, you get a little messy. Thanks so much. My pleasure.